What was so great to see was in last night's episode, we really kind of saw you come out of your shells. Like the scarf was off, not the gloves were off. The mm-hmm. scarf was off. The loafers sure. were off. And yeah. you were ready. You were ready to go. And so I, I guess the question we have is why you chose to go after Dell so hard oh, in the way that I you mean, did. And then you know, why was that up- moment you chose? Why was that the moment you chose to do it? Sure. I mean, it was really the time it was kind of, it was like an alley-oop, you know, I played basketball, I played football growing up. I'm really, you know, from a down to earth, uh, you know, modest background and family always played sports was super competitive. I've got an older brother, a younger brother. Um, you know, and I think in any competition, um, whether you're doing in an election, whether it's sports, whether it's just, you know, business, right. Um, you kind of go after the hot top dog. Right. And you can't be afraid of that, that that's that's the man to beat. And I think it was kind of clear at that point with, you know, Dale, that there was a lot of favoritism. You could tell that his relationship was moving along uh, with Claire, Claire quite rapidly. And, you know, I, I certainly am not one to shy away from competition, never scared of anything. I always believe in myself and, you know, my ability to succeed. So, you know, why not go after Dale a little bit more, you know, than the others? And I think. Um, It was really an opportunity as well where I had a chance to speak up and say some of the things, whether they were jokes and jabs and uh, whether they were true, um, to go after and and Dale and speak on behalf of the guys, not speaking for them, of course, but maybe say some of the things simply because I was in that position at the Rose to do that and say some of the things that they would have liked to have out there. Mm -hmm. I I will say this, watching all of you guys at the roast come at Dale it never felt like it crossed the line where it was inappropriate and like hitting below the belt it still felt very like you know of course you guys had your jabs in there every now and again but it never felt inappropriate uh but one of the guys and I don't remember who said it but one of the guys said you know like basically Dale never shuts up and he never stops talking was that the case was that true because I feel like there's Part like we we see such a majority of Dale with Claire. Like we see small bits of interaction with you guys, but it's also like not extreme in the sense like well, him like comments like yeah, I'm the best man suited or whatever. But it never is very abundant. So I'm sitting there wondering like, is he very very different in the house with the men versus when he is with Claire? You know, I think um, well, two, twofold. I will say. You know, I was personally very, very impressed with Dale night one. And I unfortunately did not get the chance to speak with Claire, you know, at the the cocktail ceremony when the drama sort of hit and I was this close and then it didn't happen. Um, But, you know, I was being kind of quiet, taking things in, um, you know, just sort of absorbing, excuse me. Um, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit of Jay Gatsby in there snaking through the party, not really talking to anyone, just trying to take in the scene and not, you know, having a care in the world, but at the same time, just really trying to get comfortable with what was going on around me. And I remember speaking with Dale and I was blown away by the guy. I was like, this guy is a stud. He is beautiful. Have you seen those eyes? He is an ex and <laughs> He's super articulate. He has a soft spoken voice. What's not to love about this guy? Um, you know, and it also struck me as we're kind of get going and just kind of learning the process and, you know, the, how, how things kind of work around there. Dell was super quick into, you know, sort of producer, uh, you know, event manager type uh, role and was just really outspoken. And he'd kind of go on these monologues. I was like, what is going on? Oh my God. In man chats? Um, just addressing everyone. Okay. And, you know, whether it was a man chat, whether it was, you know, out of nowhere, just kind of, you know, taking the mic and, and, and speaking. Um, and so that was, you know, kind of took me aback, but I realized that's totally fair game, absolutely normal. But I was impressed by both his eloquence and, and just kind of the way that he, you know, stepped up immediately. And that sort of, you know, kind of nudged me along. It's time to, uh, you know, find your voice. And, it, you know, it took me about a, it took me 24, 48 hours to kind of get there. And then I was pretty comfortable. <laughs> 